having a great day so far and I hope you are safe and healthy. Uh, so today's video is my attempt at the Spirited Away bathhouse. And I call it an attempt because it's really just such an attempt. Um, honestly, a failed attempt to me. Um, but it's uh, it's a learning process, so it's okay. Um, I think I'm not completely comfortable with gouache yet, and I think there were too many details that I couldn't comfortably capture using gouache as the medium for painting this. Um, even with the colored pencil that I use for details, like it was just not working out. Um, I think I did a decent job of it. It's definitely not my favorite of the Studio Ghibli recaps that I've done so far, but I think it's okay. Um, it's, you know, clearly obvious of what it is um, of the bathhouse and Spirited Away, but um, I I mean, I don't expect it to get it to look exactly like the Studio Ghibli version, but um, I did go into this with some expectations and standards for the outcome on myself, and I think my skills haven't caught up to my taste yet, <laughs> which is fine because uh, that's why you practice all the time and um, why I set specific goals of the things that I notice and what I really want to focus on and fix. But I mean, it's still frustrating <laughs> to not get what you want and um, I guess sometimes I can be a perfectionist, but I knew going into this one that it wouldn't end up perfect, so my feelings aren't, like, hurt, <laughs> but, um, I'm unhappy when I look at it. <laughs> um, now, not using the, you know, the greatest materials, the paint and paper are, you know, very cheap and so the quality of course is not like higher end so um i mean it's very easy to blame your mater materials but i think in this case it it kind of did affect the outcome especially because i did this on the back side of the very cheap paper and I knew that it would affect how the paint works, so, uh, yeah. Um, my expectations weren't too high because of that, but I think in terms of my art style or just like what I, what I envisioned for the art style of this painting and what I know I can achieve in terms of making things look at least decent. <laughs> this painting was just not it. <laughs> I didn't even want to make this into a video. Um, I realized that I just kept procrastinating editing the footage and making it into a proper video because I wasn't happy with the actual painting. But I think it will be better to post this anyway and to try again in the future, um, I don't think this will be the last time I paint this, to see, you know, the progress of what I can do better. Um, I even make a list of things that went wrong, uh, you'll see it later, um, and just like critiqued myself basically on the things that I wasn't happy with. <laughs> There, I mean, there are things that I'm happy with, don't get me wrong. Um, there are certain spots that I really like the texture of the wall or the, the clouds or whatever, but um, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I think I, 
I just don't love this page. Um, I'm okay with the outcome. I just, I don't love it. And I think that's fine. Um, I think I... I decided to make this into a video um, as both like a time capsule of like my skills now um, so I can compare it later but also that it's okay to not be happy with your art um, for whatever reason um, and this video will show that I have bad days but oh and bad drawings but um i have to remember to separate my skills now from what i want to achieve overall um, <laughs> i don't know if that makes sense um i think it would have been really easy for me to to quit and for this video to never see the light of day but then i wouldn't have gone through this thought process of okay why do i hate it so much <laughs> and just remembering that like it's not it's not me oh like it is me but like it's not that's not all i can do and um making this video has definitely helped me to be a little bit more objective with it and to remember that it's about the process and it's okay to be frustrated and there's a reason and sometimes it's not in your control and also finally that it's not this isn't where it ends um i will definitely get better and i won't hate the page as much um in the close-up, I think you can see that there are just- I, I kind of gave up, um... And there's the list of things. Um, I added, like, another thing, but, um, it's basically just that. <laughs> and maybe one day when I do it again, I will look at this list and hopefully be able to cross off the things that went wrong and hope that they went right. And that's kind of it for today's video. I hope you enjoy it. Like it if you like it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!